What's up guys, Bodie here, BodieDavison.com. In today's video, we're gonna look at the two different ways that you can go about marketing shirts on Teespring and Redbubble, etc. So this is something that was mentioned in the Facebook group, so make sure you join that and it was by Daniel, so shout out to Daniel. And he was just asking, is there really two main ways that you can do your print-on-demand shirt business? And there kind of is. So there's one way, which is like the evergreen niche, which is where you create shirts in a niche that's always gonna be popular, and you'll always be able to sell shirts and market it to those people, and do that naturally by building your social media and playing the long game, essentially. Then there's the other way, and that is to run paid ads and advertise your shirts with all sorts of trends that are going on. So an example of this would be like coronavirus. Coronavirus hits and then people are making shirts about that, or like when there was the Area 51 raid and people made shirts about that. So different things that are trending at that time, and then you make shirts and get them advertised and then put them on people's news feeds and then obviously people purchase because it's an impulse buy and it's something that's trending then and there. So in this video, we're gonna jump into a few different ways that this is happening all around you every day. I'm gonna show you examples and tell you what's good about one and what's good about the other and how they can both benefit you and your business. If you're new to the channel, I like to talk about print on demand and making money online, so make sure you check out the channel, have a look around, I'm sure there's gonna be videos that can help you out. Make sure you check out the Teespring tutorial playlist and the print on demand playlist because they have heaps of tutorials on everything print on demand and everything Teespring, so gonna help you guys out big time. Make sure you also join the Facebook uh, print on demand mastery group, which is completely free. I also have that link down below. If you're new, as I said, give the video a like, comment below any questions or video suggestions you have, and make sure you hit subscribe. All right, guys, so here we are on the computer, and let's kick it off with those sort of viral trends that people make money off. So this is definitely an option, and some people have stores that are just fully about this, and that's all they do is just sell trending and viral things that are happening right now. So examples of that are coronavirus and Area 51 raid. If you ever heard of that, that was pretty crazy as well. Other things can be like when the Super Bowl's around, it can be about football, just jumping on trends that are around. Like when President Trump was running for office and the Make America Great Again uh, hats were going around, heaps of people made money off those because you could get them from China and drop ship them and people were making money with shirts as well. So let's have a look at a few of these on Amazon here. So you got Panic at the Costco, which is actually pretty funny, I like that. Um, this is my quarantine drinking shirt, Essential AF. I was social distancing before it was cool. Father's Day 2020, the one where we were quarantined, and I've seen one like that, where it's the one where we had no toilet paper. So these people are jumping on a trend, as you can see, and people are making a lot of money out of this, there's no doubt about it. The way you would make money with this though, you could obviously upload it on here, and this trend has been going for months, but a lot of trends will kick off, and they only go for a few weeks, so, the reason that that can be hard is because you're gonna have to run some paid ads on Facebook or Instagram to get people viewing your shirt because if you don't have a following and you just put your shirt out there, then people aren't going to see it. So it is gonna cost you money in those paid ads and that's why I don't recommend it for beginners when they're learning all this stuff about selling t-shirts online. It can be very hard for a beginner because usually you don't have much startup money and usually, you're not that good with Facebook ads, so you may lose a bit of money. So there's plenty of examples here, as you can see. Uh, let's just jump back on Facebook here because I want to show you even Pantera. I'm sure you guys know the band Pantera. If you don't, it's like a heavy metal band. But even Pantera jumped on this trend, made a coronavirus type of shirt. And 10,000 likes on there, 3.6k shares. I absolutely guarantee you that they made plenty of money out of this shirt. So it, it just goes to show that's very smart by them and so many people did this, they jumped on the trend and they would have made a lot of money from this. So if we go across, I'm not sure if you guys heard about Area 51 raid, I'm pretty sure everyone heard about it. It had millions of people saying they were gonna storm Area 51. If, I think it was earlier this year or late last year, might have been late last year, and it was a very big thing. It was on the news, and then everyone was saying, don't go there. A few people showed up. Anyway, there was plenty of people talking about this on Facebook. It had millions and millions of people saying they were going to go to this 
to storm Area 51. And so, so many people jumped on that trend and started making shirts. So, as you can see, there's lots of shirts here and everyone was in on it. And I know some people that made some money from it. Some of the people in the group have made money from it. And yeah, it's just another one of those trending things. So you've got to be on top of trends. The way you can do that is use Google Trends as I've showed you guys before. And just generally have your ear to the ground and be aware of things that are going on, you know, things that are trending at the time. So the other way that you can do trending sort of things is seasonal things. So like I mentioned before, the Super Bowl is one of them. Another thing would be Christmas and Easter and Father's Day, Mother's Day, there's so many different things. And you can look up calendars that will show you events year round and then you can plan for that. So you can see events that are coming up. It could be anything in any niche. It could be like the PGA World Tour. It could be anything like golf, you know, baseball, uh, football, as I said. It can be whatever it is that you're into there's gonna be trends for it and you can jump on those trends. So honestly, I think that covers the trending sort of viral content and the shirts that you can make for that. You really, you've gotta get your shirts out there by running paid ads or if it goes on for a while, you can upload them to your stores and then hopefully get those um, consistent sales or maybe you've grown your following on social media and can drive traffic that way, which is what I recommend because it's gonna save you a lot of money if you're no good at Facebook ads. So the next thing we're gonna look at is what's called evergreen niches. And I've got a couple of examples here. Um, I'll just show you this notepad that I wrote here. So evergreen online business niches are popular because they make money year after year. They do not need aggressive marketing. They represent lower investment risk. They offer a potential for long-term profit. And to identify one of those, you just have to ask yourself these following questions. Does it have an intrinsic human problem or interest? Does its appeal have an expiration date, sorry? Is it conducive to growth and profit? And then there's some examples here, but I'll show you more in a second. But these are some of the main ones. Health and weight loss, that is an evergreen niche. People have been making money off that forever and they'll continue making money off that forever. It's something that'll never go away. Mental health is definitely one. A lot of people struggle with their mental health. Um, you will see on affiliate marketing websites like ClickBank, there's a lot of mental health uh, programs and people make a lot of money for advertising those products. Sports and hobbies, of course, that's not going anywhere. There's always going to be sports and hobbies. Gaming is an absolutely massive one, especially these days with the rise of Twitch over the years and um, professional esports gamers. Technology, obviously, that's never going anywhere. That just gets better and better each year, so that'll always be one. And then the other one that's a huge one, especially for affiliate marketing, but t-shirt sales as well, relationships and dating. So then I just came over to this, I saw this article on entrepreneur.com and I thought I'd just give you a few more here. So we've got sports and hobbies, weight loss, gaming. They're showing a lot of the same things, relationships, beauty. Beauty's another big one. Some of those beauty uh, YouTubers make a lot of money, so much money, it's crazy. And then you got people like Kylie Jenner, etc. You can make shirts around that as well. Wealth, wealth is a huge one. Lots of people always wanna know how to make more money and that is half the reason that you guys are following my channel. So it just goes to show that's definitely an evergreen niche. Food is another one. We're always gonna to need to eat and everyone loves food. Uh, education, so you've got like online education, all sorts of different things. Mental health, as I said before, and that's about it for this list, but it's just giving you ideas of what an evergreen niche is. It's something that's never going away. It's something that people always need. It's something that people are always going to be interested in. So just to finish this off with an example of an evergreen niche. So an evergreen niche that I have taken advantage of many times is dogs. And I've told you guys about this before. So dogs are never going anywhere and it's a passionate audience. Like people absolutely love their dogs and love their pets. So that could be cats, that could be goats, that could be anything. There's people that love all sorts of different animals and love all animals. So you can always make money off that. Dogs, t-shirts, definitely an evergreen niche. So pets, uh, you've got things like yoga, which I've told you guys about before. Yoga in fitness, you got people that absolutely love yoga. And then there's different types of yoga that they get into. So the fitness niche is massive. So another one that you could think of is 
CrossFit. CrossFit's absolutely massive. I think they've had a lot of issues lately with the uh, head of CrossFit, but that's another story and people being upset. But um, CrossFit, you know, gyms, everything like that, that's never going anywhere. So that's that's like health and wellness, like I was saying before. So dieting, weight loss, health, all that, absolutely massive niche. Uh, the weed niche is another one. There's so, like political niche, like I said before, there's so many of these evergreen niches, you've just got to get used to spotting them and then also paying attention to trends that are happening currently and then you can capitalize on that and make a lot of money with your shirts and that's it guys thank you very much for watching i started this video one day and then i finished it another day but i've been quite busy lately anyway we got to the end of this one i hope you enjoyed the content please give the video a like for me comment below any questions you have or video suggestions you have make sure you join the print on demand mastery facebook group completely free and lots of good content in there. Make sure you hit subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Oh, before you go, make sure you check out the print on demand playlist and the Teespring tutorial playlist also.